Hi folks and welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to look at custom-made cooling hoses. Uh, we all know the problem when you fit a different engine in the car, a retrofit or whatever, or you modify the radiator that you really can't fit the original hoses onto the car because they don't fit. So then you're ending up with what we call a custom-made hose. Now this is one that somebody built and you've seen it in my previous video on how that was leaking. And as you can see, this hose is actually leaking. Here we go, water. See water comes out on the sides here. So that's not good. This is a bad hose and I, I expected that because so we'll build a new custom made hose for that. This was a lousy build with some tape and a spanner here. Now I have no issues with spanners because you'll see I will use them as well. But then inside there is no proper coupling piece. So I had to toss that away. But besides that, um, I had the problem to find a replacement hose for this. Uh, I could probably get something similar like that put together, but I wanted to get a silicon based hose because I want to take care of my car. And what you see right here, that is a silicon based hose that I put together. And that was the hose that was on the vehicle before and it was leaking all over the place and you see the tape over here. So let's do away with that one. This is a new hose that I put together and you can see it's been built out of different segments. Uh, that's one segment and there's another segment and another segment and it's a bit of a strange curve I had to make and that's why I couldn't do it in one piece. So, so I just cut a few pieces off and you can actually see how thick that is, right? So this is really a thick piece. So this is about four millimeters and you see that it's a triple play. So you have like three times these white dots. These are three layers. Um, of enforcement and then you have the silicon around it. This is really strong stuff. Now at the inside it is very very smooth. It's uh, really nice and cutting it is quite easy. Cutting those hoses is a piece of cake. All what you need is a good sharp knife, a cutter knife and then it just works like a champ. Let me show you. Once you get in, now watch your fingers. Just turn it around. There you go. That's how easy it is to cut. And if it isn't straight enough, you can actually scrape off pieces if you really have to. But normally, you can do a straight cut. So folks, uh, these tubes, they come in all kind of uh, dimensions, thicknesses uh, for the sides, how many plies you have. Uh, those that I have right here I have are three plies and they have four millimeters thick sides. Uh, they are good for 10 bar and they can operate between minus 50 and 180 degrees centigrade. So that's good enough for the car for sure. You can order those. Uh, in uh, oil resistant and acid resistant va uh, variants. Um, and that's what I did. It's all silicon based as well and you can have different shapes. So this one is a uh, 45 degree corner and you can order them with different lengths of the legs. Uh, this is a 90 degree um, tube uh, as you can see and again uh, you can order them with different lengths of the legs. So that's good. Now the good thing about these hoses you can order up full lengths and they are kind of straight. You can bend them a little bit, but you shouldn't bend them too much. All by all, uh, this is a very good uh, system and quite uh, reasonable in price. So if you're interested where I got mine, and that's the only store where I found it, then have a look on the link I'm showing you here on the video. Now, I'm not making a commercial for that store, but it's worthwhile mentioning it. If you look on that website, you'll see what they have. Now, the good thing about it is that you can couple all this together with those inserts. And here I have an insert, right? And this insert is very smooth. This particular one is an aluminum one, but you can get them also in stainless steel. 
And if you look very closely, uh, they're very thin. So, so this is the front of the tube and this is the thickness as you can see and you see the three reinforcement layers inside. But if you look inside the tube then you see the shiny metal piece and that's the coupler, that metal part that sits inside and you can see how thin that is so they don't form any obstruction of the flow of the liquid inside the tube. So all what you need to do is just put that in and then put the other tube, whatever that side is, it doesn't really matter now, like so. There we go. And that's nicely put together, right? So this is the piece and you can see how thin the edges are and you can see also the rips that it has on it so it doesn't slide back. So all you need to do is slide it in and it's, it's, it, it's a tight fit but it works. You can hear it on the sound, right? Put it like halfway and that's it. Uh, make sure that you cut the edges right, that's important. And then all you need to do is tighten it up. Uh, where is it? Over here, right? Tighten it up both sides and now you have a very solid uh, joint um, which looks all right. It would be great I think if I could mold them together but that's not possible. Uh, but this is what I've done on my car and it has worked out quite well. So guys this is uh, what I um, had to say to you. So folks uh, we're now nearing the end of this video and you've seen on how we've built a custom built uh, cooling pipe and you've seen the one that I have on the car. I don't have to show you on how I've put it together because you can see how you do this with all the different uh, curves and corners and couplings that I have and all the pieces that I still have left. It's an easy way to build your own custom built hose to your specs. Um, inside they are very smooth, it is an easy flow. I know you can buy these flexible tubes as well but they have kind of waffles on them and you can bend them in all kind of directions and they're not that smooth inside so they cause more resistance to the water flow and that's not what I wanted to have. Um, and these are very good prices guys, uh, I mean really uh, and they deliver very fast as well so I like this. Now if you think that I'm full of it Please, by all means, let me know and correct me when I'm wrong because I don't know everything. I know a little bit of things and I know that this solution works great for me. But maybe there are better options and better solutions. So I'm looking forward to your comments and recommendations. Don't hold back. Just shoot at me. All right, guys. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.